I want to say in about 2017, there was this five minute video of this like fire and ice guy just going at it. It was visually distinct. The choreography was amazing. But I probably just threw it threw it away some one off video on the internet that someone just made, was which was cool. I wasn't into Donwell at the time. I am now, so I know better. This has become of its own fully realized show. It's called Fog Hill of Five Elements, and it's a Don Hua, which is which is which is just Chinese animation by Samsara Studio, which is co-produced by Nice Boat Animation. Nice Boat Animation also works on a Don Hua movie that I'm very fond of called Dafua. Dafua. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but uh, it's really dope. It's about the five elements in uh, ancient China: metal, wood, fire, water, earth. I just want to talk about why you guys should peep it. I got no time to parlay unless it's big checks or parlays. I've been bricks, it's not far away. Like the spliff and I stargaze. Consultation with the constellations. They said the world was in a dark phase. It got me desperado for protection. Carry big strap in a guitar case. So as of this video, there is only three episodes that are currently out, plus that five-minute uh, little teaser trailer showcase. I would I would watch that first, just so you can discuss, and then I'd watch the episodes. To my surprise, because I knew how the trailer went, I thought this was just going to be like a meathead series. And it is, in a lot of ways. But there is substance here. It's definitely style over substance, but there is a lot of substance here, which was my, to my surprise. There was a lot of very little seedlings being planted for later episodes there was some good character moments there was some moral ambiguity where it's like you know you're not necessarily just the righteous hero fighting against evil blah blah there was some moral gray here which i, I just didn't expect to see right away and i don't want to say that the show is carried off the action sequences and the fighting i don't want to say that i think it's a little dishonest it is absolutely where they've put the most effort and to me the best part of the show. But there are other things to like characters and things to look forward to, which I didn't expect. I kind of expected to turn my mind off and just watch fighting and I didn't do that. But it's so sick. This is coming from me. I don't usually get out of my seat for action. I think in every episode I have to get up and like punch the air, pull it back. Like yeah, I'm pulling this back like five, four, like, like a couple seconds to see that again. The choreography the angles of the camera, the things that they're doing, just the creativity, the speed of which they're doing it at, I just thought it was mind-blowing. Like, I was blown away, like, so many times. I'm, like, I loved it. I thought it was great. You can probably see it on screen right now. Like, it goes crazy, but I don't want to show too much of it. But the one thing that I do want to say about this moving forward is I actually think that if it picks up steam... And this goes beyond the first season. I think I think they're only planning for one season, eight, eight episodes. I do think this can become a lot more interesting. There's a lot going on here. And as I've watched more and more Don Hua and kind of gotten a little bit more familiar in doing research on Chinese history, mythology, and folklore and stuff, there's some things that are overlapping that I'm starting to see. It's like, okay, this is maybe something that's more ingrained into their culture. So you're going to see it kind of the way you see certain things in Japanese culture sprinkled through multiple anime. It's just a cultural thing, tradition. Um... You know, where you're born dictates how you think and how you perceive certain stuff. Unfortunately, it's still really early, so I don't... Actually, there's literally three episodes, so I don't have too much to say. But I think just off the strength of the animation, the fights, the action sequences, and the fact that I'm telling you that actually there is some stuff here to look forward to from a more, like, I guess, intellectual level, whatever you, if you want to call it that. There's stuff here for that. My only critique is that they obviously didn't put any effort, not any effort, but maybe it could have been restrictions that they had. So because they had to put so much work into crafting these beautiful for one-on-one and, you know, other fight sequences, they had to kind of cut down on the other stuff. So honestly, when characters are kind of just talking, moving, and doing very regular, mundane, like, regular life stuff, like someone just sitting, selling apples, it could look rough. I'm being honest with you. And some, sometimes it looks rough. I've seen sometimes when, like, the character will, like, speak and, like, laugh and they'll, like, they'll react. And I'm like, that looked a little amateurish. But I think, you like me, you'll forgive it once they start fighting. Like, oh, anyways, we fight now. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and that doesn't matter. It's, I don't want to, I don't want to just paint it as a me head series. I really don't because I do think there's going to be a lot more here. But that's the selling point. I'll be real with you. But anyways, if you check it out or already watch it, talk to me about it in the comment section or Twitter, Discord, whatever. Holla at me. I'm out. You're... Tears are falling, my heart is froze. Can't talk to me, but I can't let go.